Hey, thank you for following me today because the last time we put it together uh, and today we are going to see how it works. Uh, there was one thing though that I need to tell you uh, that I did last time there was a mistake. So uh, what I did was uh, when I installed these wheels, I, uh, it was flipped over and uh, there just wasn't enough room uh, for it uh, to uh, freely move because you don't want this to touch the ground because uh, when you put a lot of weight on it, uh, it's gonna break this wheel. So I had to uh, swap it, uh, actually I had to flip it over so that there's some, some room for it to freely spin like that. Uh, that way, when you lift it up, when you lift it up, which is really heavy, then the wheels touch the ground, you can kind of move that around, all right? And like I said, this is really heavy. So I looked at a, I looked at a sample of a guy who did uh, put a wheel, or actually they put, he put some wheels on them uh, on a quick jack. The problem with this one though is that if I was to do it like uh, he did on the quick jack, this little uh, bar here which he put on, actually it's, it's, it's this one right here. It's just too, too, th uh, too thin and also um, it uh, doesn't have enough room for me to put the, the wheels on them um, to make it sturdy enough. So I did something really um, kind of different, um, which uh, I will probably have to redo it again, but for now, uh, it's enough for me to kind of, you know, install it and be able to move it around this way. So what I did was something really simple. Uh, I'll show you what that is. And really, this is all it is. I just put little wheels on there. Don't mind my welding. I just, uh, uh, I just did um, really quickly and I'm not really good at welding either, so. But it's good enough, right? For me to just slip this under and be able to move this around. Um, <clears throat> but like I said, you know, when I have some time, I will uh, um, do something better uh, so that, um, you know, it'll be something that I can slip under really easy. But right now, I, have, I gotta lift this up and put this under like that. And once I put this on there, I can move that around easily. So it's on both sides and I can do that. This way I can move it under the car uh, easily without having to, you know, lifting it and, um, and pushing it around. It's about 200 pounds. So that's pretty heavy. So, all right, so uh, uh, we're gonna hook this up with a pump and let's see how it works. Okay, we'll do this together. All right, just, just for fun, we're just gonna scoot this together uh, closely, uh, like this. And then I am going to uh, take out this uh, little wheel so that it's flat on the cement. And I'll do the same thing here on this side. Um, and then we'll, we'll hook the hose up and also the pump. And let's see how that works. All right, so we got the hose. Um, let's hook this up on the, this side. And it's pretty easy to hook this up. We'll just push this in there. Supposedly, it's, it should be pretty easy. Ah, there you go. You gotta make, make sure you hear that click. All right. And then we'll do the same on this side. All right, there you go. So one thing that I had to complain about this, uh, this lift, because when I got it, it didn't come with hydraulic oil at all. It came empty in this. So I had to go out and got, and I got this here from O'Reilly, which is uh, ISO, I think ISO, ISO 40, 46, I believe. Um, yeah, it's ISO 46, uh, it, which is recommended by uh, the manufacturer. Um, <clears throat> so what you do is you you just fill them up. I already did, by the way. So um, just fill them up here. You need to make sure, though, the first time that you fill this up, that you fill them up to right here in the middle. 
right here. Uh, don't overfill above that. So uh, uh, once you start and uh, try the pump and hook this up, and then you can, uh, you know, once you uh, fill up the hose and all that, then you can just gradually fill them up to the recommended level. So, all right. So since we have already uh, filled this up, I'm gonna hook up this pump and then we'll uh, raise it up and let's see how that works. There you go. I'll plug up the power. And this is the controller that they have going up. Uh, and then, uh, of course, you know, bringing it back down. So let's see how that works. Here we go. <laughs> okay, there you go. So a minute ago, I turned it this way. Uh, that's, I guess, that's a newbie kind of thing. So uh, going up was this way. That's why it didn't work. So let's try it once more. So it's take a little bit to fill that up. And there you go. I'm gonna stop that right there just to make sure that it comes up level and check. Yeah, it's pretty level, I think. All right, let's take it all the way up. So we'll take it all the way up until we click in that lock. Okay, so now that it's up, we gotta lower it back down a little bit, so make sure that this, this locks in. So right now, it's in there. Um, we gotta make sure that we bring this down so it hooks up and lock the, uh, the lift. You notice it, it drops in right there. See that? Uh, when we when we um, lower it, we gotta make sure that you know it uh, it rises this way. But right now we gotta make sure it locks. Okay, so I'm gonna lower I'm gonna lower that down so it locks. Now that we got it up, um, obviously when you have a car. Um, the lock will be a lot tighter, so um, my weight is not uh, heavy enough for it. So, but anyway, you just need to make sure that you lift, you brace the lift up all the way, and then uh, uh, making sure that the lock is on uh, where the track is, and then lower it down just a bit so that the lock actually uh, click on and tighten up. Um, so that the, the safety is on. All right, so we got it working. Uh, actually, it was pretty easy to put this together. Uh, just that it's really heavy to move this around. And like I said, I will figure it out how to uh, put the, something uh, that I can roll this around. So, but for now though, uh, I think what I got here works. The temporarily, um, I guess, um, hack that I put together. So, but the next time though, uh, when you come back, make sure you follow me. I will uh, actually race a car up. I have a couple of them. This is a 7,000 pound, but uh, I think the most heaviest car that I have is the FJ, um, right here. Um, and then um, I believe this, this one here is about 4,500 pounds. So it's more than plenty uh, to lift uh, uh, this car. So the rest are, you know, um, my uh, my V10 M5 here, that's probably the next heaviest. And the Porsche, and then the other M5 competition there. Like I said, they're about, about the same. And of course, that one's electric there. That's probably pretty heavy, but like I said, uh, the electric one, I probably won't be doing anything with it. So, not yet anyway, so. Um, all right, so next time, uh, we'll raise up a car, so follow me. All right, thanks.